welcome back to my channel so as we all know that october is about to start and from 1st october 2025 a festival festival of coding will start of which we can say also festival of hackathon so october fest 2025 would be live by tomorrow so how we can contribute in in this hacktober fest 2025 as a service now developer so basically it requires a github account so i i thought that most of uh, us would confuse that how we can go ahead and and start contributing in it so in this video today i'm going to show you how you can contribute from take uh, forking a repository from creating a repository and a branches and to contributing so i'll show you everything step by step so just stay tuned and uh let's start so here you can see that in my screen this is the community article written by earl so thanks to the service now team for introducing this innovative idea every year so this time they have a partner with hack for good so there are some rules uh, which we need to follow while contributing so here First, you can. I'll also provide this article link in the description, so you can go ahead and uh, read this article. But so before starting this uh, contribution, you should have your GitHub account. So let me log into the GitHub account. So as of now, I I already have my GitHub account logged in. So it it, it is just going to open my GitHub account. Now, if you see here, here are some rules which you need to follow. Like here here it is like level one, level two. Uh, level 3 you can all read it i'll provide that uh, link in the description so first we need to ensure that whatever we are going to contribute that should be original or that should be our can our code or whatever it is because there are several projects in which we can go ahead and contribute based on our interest so the most uh, used repo is code snippet so most of us uh, used to contribute in this repo so today okay so the moment i type github login in the next tab so i'll get this first link sign into github so i'll just click on that and it is going to land on my uh, dashboard so i have already logged in so if you don't have any account you can just go ahead and create your github account now first thing you need to make sure that these these are the projects which they have mentioned like level one start your open source collaborative journey here like code snippet is one of the repo where we can contribute like and one of repos is like update open source in service now so how you can contribute so here is the link of main repository if you can see this main repository so under which this is the october fest so under which we have multiple uh, open source projects like if you see here uh, let me show you you can see that like uh, here hacktober fest projects projects so if i click on this projects or you can also see here in the under the 2025 project lineups like level one is a code snippet level two is the idea submission level three is like dev program action pack and if you see here the projects so these as of now these three projects they have introduced for this year so what we can do first so we can go ahead first we need to fork this repo repository so as of now i have let me close it and show you to you once more so i have just click on this main repository so it will land me to, to the main repository after login into my github account so now what you need to do you just need to create a fork so here here you can see that the fork option is there so i'll just click on create new fork and i'll provide a name of my fork so basically fog is you know creating a copy of that repository so that you can freely go ahead and make the changes whatever you want i'll just click on create fog okay now i have created this copy of this hacktober fest with the name of hacktober fest 2025 now you can see that whatever changes i'm going to make so that that would be uh, for me so i have Fork this uh, repository which is Hector Fest. Now, before I fork any of the project, first you will have to sign up for the Hector Fest 2025. So, for that, I'm going to type Hector Fest 2025 and just enter on my browser. 
So if you see I have already signed up. So the moment I'll click on this October 1st 2025 It would be landing to my page. You can see that a month-long celebration of all things open source So here you need to click start hacking. So the moment I'll click on start hacking So here you need to provide your github account your github account email ID and uh, email ID verification code and some few more questions like what what is your role in your organization what you do like that so you can see that as of now I have already registered for October 1st 2025 and you can see that here it will show my progress so as of now I have not made any pull request so this time service now has changed or the October 1st has changed their limit of the pull request so earlier it was only four now this year it has increased from four to six now this year will have to uh, contribute at least six contribute at least six times or a six will have to make a six pull request at minimum to get this done so as of now you can see that these are the things first which you need to do now once you will register here so it would directly link with your github account because you need to provide your github credentials there so the moment you are done with those things now what you need to do you just need to come back to here of the forked repository which is Hector fest so I have just forked it now I am going to fork one of my project in which I am going to contribute so that is let's say I am going to contribute firstly in the code snippet one so I'll just open this repository so as of now I need to make a fork of it because as of now this is something I don't have access to now what I can do I can create my own copy of this repository I can go ahead and start submitting those requests and uh, that that is how it would be so I'll just click on create new fork now you can see that code snippet 2025 I'll provide 2025 and I'll just click on create fork now the moment you create a new fork of this code snippet project so first what we did first we created our github account then we registered for the Hector fest 2025 then we created a fork of the main repository which was the Hector fest 2025 repository and then we made a fork of our code snippet project now in which we are going to make uh, put, make a pull request so also you need to ensure that while making a pull request you will always need to create a branch so in a single branch you can make a single pull request so if I click on just main so here I need to click on branch like let's say Hector first 2025 first pull request okay so now here I need to click on create branch so I'll the moment I click on this it would create a new branch for me so under this branch now what I can do I can simply go ahead to my service now instance I can start writing a code I can start uh, writing a scripts and I can use those scripts to contribute here so here you need here you if you see here are some of the files like let me open this client side component or a core service now API so if I open this core service now API so here are already folders so let's say you are going to uh, create a code snippet for glide record so you can simply go ahead and create a uh, code in your instance and what you can do under this folder you can add your file so you can add your file so here are some more folders under it so like like the same way you can add more file but if you see here the guidelines while contributing uh, in the project so you need to see if you see contributor must follow all guidelines in the various contributing.md files for each repository so this contributing.md file should be there that actually uh, provides or gives up more context about your contribution what you have done during this contribution so pull request labeled as spam this repository con contributing.md file can be found here so if i will just click uh, here so this will land me to this contributing to this repo so if you see this is a host repo to another repo so there isn't much to contribute to it but you can follow the guidelines you know while creating those uh, contributions while creating those codes or a code snippet or while contributing to the to that in project so what you can do you can also you you need to actually so you need to create contributing.md file which would actually give a more context about your contribution so that is how you need to follow all the things 
so i will provide this uh, blog link in the description and do let me know if you still have any doubts in the comment section thank you